Okay, plant gang, I'm standing here in front of probably one of the toughest annual plants slash tender perennials, depending on which cultivar you choose. Lantana, Lantana camara, the Lantana. If you smell it, Lantana has a very distinct smell to it, so you wanna make sure that you do clue in on the smell. Uh, this one I'm standing in front of, uh, you can tell they're not very large. This is a dwarf variety, but also, Lantana needs a lot of heat, and so we're waiting uh, for the summer to heat up, and once things really get heated up, Lantana will really explode in the garden. This really is a July, August plant, uh, really even into September, where it really shows out in the garden. Flowers already uh, on this kind of compact variety. Lantana can get quite large, uh, and you can find ones that do get quite large. Uh, people will train these as uh, trees, tropical trees that they bring inside and, and take outside, but a great plant for a full sun situation. So Lantana camara, the Lantana, it's in the Verbena Verbenaceae family. It has opposite leaves. They come off opposite from each other. The flowers, cream, yellow, orange, red, vibrant red, vibrant orange, all the way to soft buttery yellows. Many small flowers from high summer all the way into fall. Cultivar dependent, but can be two to even six foot high. Really even very quite variable in its spread as well. Hardy from zones eight through 11, there are a few cultivars of Lantana that are hardy perhaps to zone seven. Uh, one called Miss Huff that is quite popular. Uh, and it can get quite large and stay quite woody. Pests and diseases, white fly, spider mites, are typical of lantana, but you won't necessarily typically see it out in the, in the landscape in full sun. Here's a landscape tip. Water well during growing season and pinch back young growth for best appearance. Cultivar Miss Huff has proven to be hardy in zone seven.